The new moon in Pisces on March 10th is giving us the rare opportunity to make our wildest dreams come true. That is because it is sandwiched between Saturn, the planet of all that is tangible, and Neptune, the planet of the intangible. So this new moon is bringing those two energies together. So it's the perfect time to set your intentions to make your most out there dreams come true. Hi, I'm Bella and I use tropical Western astrology and the whole sign house system to interpret the stars. And if you like what I have to say, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my page and hit that bell notification so you can stay notified every time I post a video. And if you like astrology, I also have an app called Astro Bella that's available in the app store and on Google Play where you can get your birth chart, daily horoscope, yearly horoscopes, and so many more astrological goodies. So let's get into it. What is a new moon? A new moon is when the sun and the moon are in the same sign, when they are conjunct. And they're both on one side of the earth, so there is no light to be reflected on the moon. Therefore, the moon looks dark in the sky. The sky is dark. This is a very internal time. It's an introverted time. New moons represent new beginnings because they are the beginning of a new lunar cycle. So they bring new beginnings in our lives and it's a great time to set our intentions for the future, to think about what we wanna manifest and to plant those seeds. Also a huge emphasis on the sign that the new moon is in. And this new moon being in Pisces means that we're gonna be feeling a lot. Pisces is a water sign, it's very deep. Our intuition will be greatly activated during this time. So it's very important for us to tap in to our inner guidance, to our intuition, to find answers right now, to figure out the best way forward and what the best intentions are to set right now. Neptune is with this new moon and Neptune is the planet of mysticism, spirituality, what's beyond the physical glamour, illusion. So there is an increased element to our connectedness to realms beyond the physical. There's an increase in our feeling and spirituality right now. There's an increased connection to energy, vibration, to inner knowing. This is a very deep and spiritual time. And if you really tap in, you can find some life-changing answers within you right now, but it's really important that you take the time to reflect, to meditate, to journal, to set those intentions and to make sure that the intentions that you set are aligned with where your intuition is telling you you should be going, moving in the direction that your soul wants to move in. Saturn is also very close to this new moon. And Saturn is a very different energy than Neptune. Uh, Saturn is the planet of limitations, of boundaries, of restriction, of solidifying things, of, of hard work and effort. So Saturn is coming in and it wants us to really do something with these intentions that we set. It wants us to get grounded, get practical, actually implement a plan and do something about making our dreams come true. It's not only about dreaming and thinking and imagining this new moon, it's about taking action, making a plan, getting organized, getting structured, so we can do something with all of these insights that are coming through. Saturn also makes things feel a bit heavy because there is this knowledge, this acknowledgement of an increase in responsibility. With big dreams comes big responsibilities and that's what Saturn's letting you know. You can dream as big as you possibly want right now, but just know that there, there is a responsibility. There is a, an amount of effort that you need to put in to making these dreams come true and, and Saturn is helping us get real about it. It's, it's actually helping us take whatever is in our mind and make it something tangible. And this is a great time to start something new and it could be a new business, a new spiritual business, a new creative project, a new way to help people, a new serious relationship, um, anything that you commit to. This is the time to commit to something that is connected to your greater purpose and your soul purpose. This new moon is also making a positive aspect to Uranus, the planet of unexpected surprises, eccentricity, uh, 
things that are totally out of the blue that throw us for a loop that are that are different and unique and out there and unpredictable so a sextile is a positive aspect so there is this this energy of okay well if i do things differently right now then i'm going to be rewarded this energy wants to reward you for thinking outside of the box for doing things differently for believing in your dreams even if no one has ever dreamt them before even if they're so out there and different it's about going for it as long as it feels right in your soul as long as it's true for you it's important for you as long as you it's something you really are passionate about and you know that this is something that's gonna make you happy on a soul level. Now Mars, the planet of action and energy, ambition, will be making a tense square aspect to Uranus that very same day. So there could be this anxiety around this new moon, feeling a lot, uh, feeling this pressure to make a change, to do things differently, to follow your passion. So it's all about tuning into your intuition right now to figure out the best way forward, even if things don't make sense logically. But with Mars and Uranus, there's going to be this anxiety and this need to act that's going to be so strong that your actions could be very impulsive at this time. So remember to breathe. Remember to go slow. Remember to tap in to your guidance and take the time that you need for yourself that day to meditate to be in nature, to journal, to take a bubble bath, to do whatever you do for self-care. So you can, because the more relaxed you are on this day, the easier it will be for you to just know things, to connect with that inner guidance. Because when you're stressed and when you're tense, it, it makes your body feel tense. And when your body is tense, your mind is tense because it's all connected and, and you're not thinking clear. So just take really good care of yourself that day. You're also gonna be feeling a lot. So that could be emotionally draining. But if you really commit and make a plan right now and, and be willing to put in the hard work and effort, this energy is perfect for making your dreams come true. The time is now. Now is the time to start the thing that you've been wanting to start. And remember, this new moon is happening at 20 degrees in the sign of Pisces. So check to see if you have anything close to those degrees or in any of the mutable signs as well, because you'll be feeling it the most. But now I will quickly go over what this new moon will be like for each one of the rising signs. So check your rising sign to see how it's going to affect you. You can also check your sun and moon to see it's more of a subtle energy with the moon more internal with your sun it's going to affect you more in your career and your ambitions and your outer world moon the inner world but the rising will just be the most accurate and on point reading so make sure to check that and let's get into that aries rising this is happening in your 12th house of spirituality and the subconscious so this is a really great time to set some intentions for your deeper healing you could be getting really serious about your spirituality and implementing a new spiritual practice in your life that actually helps you get grounded and do things more effectively. And you could also be starting to look deep within your subconscious mind and see what's buried in there and see what could use a little extra love and healing. This is a, the start to a new healing journey for you. Um, but this is also a very spiritual time so it's really important for you to tap into your intuition right now and find the answers that you're looking for. And you could even be thinking about doing something like a spiritual retreat or traveling to a very spiritual place far away. Um, it's a very dreamy time. I would write down your dreams during this time because you're probably going to have some insights from your dreams at this time and, and your imagination will be very vivid. So use whatever spiritual and creative insights that you get and do something with it. Implement a plan to make it into something tangible so that you can share it with others, so you can share that inner inspiration with the world and so that you can heal yourself and heal other people. Taurus Rising, this is happening in your 11th house of friendships and your community. So this could be the start to a new spiritual friendship. You can have a spiritual person come into your life that teaches you something that helps you become more grounded and less delusional. Um, 
The 11th house also represents our hopes and our wishes. So it's really important for you to dream big right now and to tap into your intuition and come up with a plan. And it could be very out there. Um, thinking outside of the box is gonna be rewarded right now. So when it comes to your dreams, think big. The 11th house wants to make your dreams come true and Saturn wants to help you find a way to implement a plan towards working towards those dreams and don't be afraid to ask others for help during this time because you're going to be feeling very connected to your community to your friends allow allow people to come in and provide you with the resources that you need and you know you do the same for them this is a very connected time you're going to be feeling very connected to others so don't be afraid to allow others to help you Gemini rising, this is very big energy for you because it's happening in your 10th house of career. So this could be a new start to your career. You could be the start to doing things differently within your career. Um, you may have been thinking over different options in your career. Should I do things this way or that way? Now is the time when you're really going to be able to find those answers from tapping into your inner guidance and know exactly what you need to do for your career moving forward. And this could be the start to something completely new. Don't be afraid to do things differently, to do things your own way, to trust your inner guidance, even if it doesn't make logical sense right now. Um, because... There's something within you that's telling you that you need to be to make a change. Um, but with Saturn, you also need to figure out a way of how you're going to make this change. You need to implement a plan right now of how you're going to make these changes in your career. And you need to get serious about it. And you could really have a lot of success if you tap into the spiritual and the practical during this new moon. Cancer rising, this is happening in your ninth house of travel, higher education, your beliefs. You are really wanting to expand right now and this moon can show you how. So you may start thinking about going back to school or traveling somewhere that you've always wanted to go to. Uh, allow this new moon to show you what the best way is for you to expand because you wanna learn, you wanna grow. Um, and you might. this might be the time when you decide to take that trip. But make a plan. Make a plan on how you need to make it happen. Do you need to earn this amount of money to make this trip happen? Do you need to take out a loan to go back to school? Like, what are the steps right now to making your dreams come true in regards to the expansion of your mind? Get serious, get real, and your dreams can become a reality. Leo rising, this is happening in your eighth house of psychological healing of intimacy and shared resources so this is a very deep and heavy time for you and there could be a lot of things that come up uh, you could be very triggered easily um and these triggers can actually show you this darkness within you that maybe you didn't even know was there or you thought you healed from but this is the beginning of a new healing journey this is a new approach to your trauma and your inner wounds this is approaching it in a very structured way. What are the steps that you're gonna do to feel lighter, to heal, to let go, to transform, to become stronger? What are you gonna do? It could even be you start reading a self-help book or you start this healing course or you start educating yourself about healing. You start doing you know, shadow work or even breath work or you, you, know, you uh, plant medicine. Uh, alternative forms of healing you could really take that on and get really serious about your healing at this time um, and this could also be a time where you get very serious about your finances and your investments as well you're really taking the steps to do whatever it takes to become stronger and to fully transform but it could feel very heavy in the process don't be afraid of the dark face the dark head on allow yourself to feel and allow yourself to release these heavier feelings and set some strong intentions for how powerful you want to become. Virgo rising, this is happening in your seventh house of relationships. So this could be a new and spiritual relationship coming into your life, but one that feels like it could get very serious very quickly. You might think about committing right away. And if you're already seeing someone, you may start thinking about getting more serious with that person committing to that person or you can become really serious about manifesting your dream partner and thinking about all the steps that you need to take write it down what does your dream partner look like what do you need to do differently to manifest that person maybe you have some 
more healing that you'd like to do so that you can manifest a better person. Maybe you want to work on your self-confidence so that you can manifest a more confident person. You're getting serious. You're getting real. It's important to tap into your intuition right now to let you know what you really want. Are you it's putting out there what you, you think that you want or what your soul wants. It's about connecting to your soul's needs in partnership and manifesting that and getting real about that. Libra rising, this is happening in your sixth house of work and health. So if you haven't been feeling good, you could really tap into your intuition right now and find out what the solution would be to optimize your health. And you could really implement a plan to have better health and start a new uh health routine or a workout routine that makes you feel better but let your intuition guide you and get structured about it um, this is also a great time to focus on manifesting your dream job um, and you could really write down like what type of work you want to be doing and and really visualize how you want to see yourself like be taken more seriously at work this is a good time to come up with a plan on how you're gonna get that new dream job and don't be afraid to dream big but tap into your inner guidance to let you know exactly what it is that you want because if you think you don't know you do know you just have to go within scorpio rising this is happening in your fifth house of creativity and romance so this energy could actually be quite fun for you it could be a new spiritual romantic partner that you have a lot of fun with but at the same time that you feel like you might want to be serious with this could be a time to start a new creative project that you feel passionate about but get serious about at the same time and implement a plan you could really be focusing on manifesting more creativity in your life and creating art and just remember to have fun go easy on yourself get serious, come up with a plan, and really envision like where you wanna be in, in your romance and in within how you creatively express yourself in the world within the next few years. Visualize and see it, because you could really make your dreams come true in that area right now. Sagittarius rising, this is happening in your fourth house of home and family, so you could be getting serious about a creative project within your home. Maybe you're beautifying your home, but you're really like implementing a plan on how to make it happen. Uh, you could be getting serious about healing childhood wounds. And this is a really good time to tap into your intuition to see like what is still weighing heavily inside of you and how you can release and let go of that. And that could even involve communicating with your family and really like communicating in a very emotional and deep but healing way. And this can actually be very beautiful energy if you if you are compassionate towards your family members and understanding you could you could be healing a lot during this time just allow your intuition to guide you in dealing with your past pain so that you can find the best way to heal for you even if it's unconventional just trust your gut capricorn rising this is happening in your third house of writing and communication so you could be getting very serious about a writing project you could be becoming more spiritual in your writing you could even start channeling in your writing it's really important to write right now even writing down your goals is very powerful um writing down the things that you want to manifest you could be actually be manifesting a more creative opportunities in your life where you can express yourself more creatively through your words through your speech through what is written down and this could be also a time where you start new and increased marketing efforts for your business you could be really focused on promoting yourself promoting your business especially through the use of your words so let your intuition guide you in doing so Aquarius rising, this is happening in your second house of wealth and finances. So you could be receiving a lot of intuitive insights right now on how to make more money. If you really tap in, you can have some genius level ideas on how to work most efficiently to make the most, but it's very important that you implement a plan and you're serious about this new venture or you're serious about making money and that you're willing to put in the work and the effort and you can really come up with a plan on how you're gonna do that in a very effective and structured way. This is time to get practical about your bank account. Also be specific in your manifestations. You can even write down the amount that you wanna earn per year and don't be afraid to dream big. Pisces rising, this is happening in your first house of self. So this is a new beginning for you, for how you present yourself to the world, for your, the energy that you're giving out, okay? This is your chance to just be whoever you want to be, okay? To 
take the steps necessary to become the person that's aligned with your dream life, to step into the most powerful version of yourself and you can use your intuition to guide you in doing so and you can attract a lot of things in your life right now because you're going to be very alluring you're going to be very enticing people are going to be drawn to you during this new moon and you could get be getting really serious how to use your energy your presence to make money to start a business this this could be a really great time to start a business around who you are and really put yourself out there Maybe you wanna be taken more seriously in the world, so you start dressing that way, you're putting yourself together more. Really envision the most powerful and successful version of yourself right now and come up with a plan on how to bring that version of you into reality. And that's it for the readings. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I would love to get your guys' feedback, especially since I'm new to this whole YouTube world and happy new moon. I'll see you guys in the next video.